Yeah, that's the message from the state. Now, we're standing right a stone's throw from the big tiger dam that's been set up along the beach here to prevent further erosion. And the state says that they are giving uh, $37 million to Volusia County uh, to help with uh, more recovery efforts here. People living along the beach here say that's appreciated, but more needs to be done. Daytona Beach Shores is still recovering from the damaging effects of Hurricanes Ian and Nicole. Deborah Taylor lives along the beach and says they have lots of work ahead of them. We are in the process of getting estimates to build a seawall. We need millions of dollars. I mean, we really do. She and other residents gathered to hear Governor DeSantis' announcement that the state will give Volusia County money for beach recovery. Out of the $100 million that we are uh, uh, ad, uh, allocating, 37.6 million will go right here to Volusia County. Homeowners say it's appreciated, but the problem is bigger than that. Um, but those of us who want to build and protect our homes, we need to be able to do that right now, and we can't do it with 37 million because that, as I said earlier, that will only uh, buy maybe 10 seawalls out. The mayor of Daytona Beach Shores says they're working to restore the damaged area. We're looking forward to the collaboration with our state, with our county our federal government to restore our beautiful beaches to where they were before the hurricane. Residents say they also need help getting permits for the work. Here's dollars available. Let's go. So we need Volusia County to jump in. We need them to help us push through with the DEP and the Florida Fish and Wildlife. State officials say they're telling their teams to work quickly to get those permits done. They say they're going to have uh, teams and staff on site tomorrow and Friday helping local residents fill out that permitting paperwork. We're live in Daytona Beach Shores. Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.